We've just had our midterm elections, and the Congress has swung 60 seats from Democrats to Republicans. It's, we've also had a number of governorships and state legislatures throughout the country go from Democratic to Republican. So that's a big change in the politics of the U.S. And the issues that are really carrying the day is a concern about the economy, about unemployment, and about deficits at the local, state, and federal level. And obviously, in terms of what the U.S. does in transportation, that has a big effect, because a lot of transportation in the U.S. is funded by public dollars. And at the moment, there's a real, it's almost a crisis level of trying to figure out how we're going to afford the kinds of things we want to do in transportation going forward. Well, I think the, for the Obama administration, our, sort of our, one of our signature issues is high-speed rail. We have invested $10.5 billion over the past couple of years in getting 13 high-speed rail corridors around the country up and running. But to continue the program and build out a real national system like you would see in Europe or Asia, we're going to need a lot more money. We're probably going to need in the area over 25 or 30 years uh, of $500 billion U.S. And again, at the moment, we are facing deficits at all levels of government. And we fund a lot of our transportation through gasoline taxes, which, because Americans are driving less and our automobiles are becoming more fuel efficient, we're not taking in the kind of revenue we need to even keep up the maintenance of the existing infrastructure we have, let alone building new high-speed rail or new transit systems. Well, I think there are particularly some real iconic transit programs going on around the country. The one we talk a lot about, because it's sort of the biggest at the moment, is what's happening in Los Angeles. Uh, there, the city has put a sales tax on itself to pay for a whole comprehensive transit plan of light rail, heavy rail, pricing, all kinds of things. LA is really trying to change it, the, the way it uses transportation. It is also true, as we're struggling to come up with resources to pay for our light rail systems, that a lot of folks are taking a second look at how we might run better bus service. In the U.S., we are really behind the world in terms of even doing some of the basic things, like traffic light prioritization so that buses can speed through traffic and the other types of things that you know, places all over the world are doing to you know, some of the most advanced bus rapid transit systems. So, we could do a much better job on the bus front as well, and some cities are starting to take a look at that. Absolutely. I think in the U.S., you know, and particularly, there's a real political culture that has a fear of dictates and requirements coming out of Washington. And on the transportation front, we are very careful at USDOT and in the Obama administration to say, we're not trying to make any city do things it doesn't want to do. Uh, I, I think, as one of our colleagues said this morning, we're looking for the willing. There is a huge demand in a lot of places, American cities large and small, for new types of transportation, and we want to help and nurture. We're, the last thing we want to do is sort of foist things on cities that don't want them.